Alright, it's Richie here with Saturday Night Five Football breaking down the New Year's Bowl games Saturday, January 1st. There's one, two, three, four, five, five games on the first. Starting with the Outback Bowl, Penn State 7 5 facing the Arkansas Razorbacks at 8 4. Penn State 22nd in pass offense, 118th in rush offense, 44th in rush defense, 81st in, score, first in scoring offense, 7th in scoring defense, and 35th in total defense. Uh, Sean Clifford, 2009-12, 20 touchdowns and 6 picks. Jahan Dawson, one of the best uh, receivers in the country, in my opinion. 91 catches, 1,182, 12 receiving touchdowns. Ellis Brooks, 100 tackles. Arnold, Arnold Ebiketti, 9.5 sacks there. Arkansas had a really good year going 8-4. K.J. Jefferson, 2005-78, 21 touchdowns, only 3 interceptions. Ran for 554 and 5 touchdowns. Uh, Traylon Brooks, 66 catches, 1,104. Uh, receiving yards and 11 touchdowns. Bumper Pool, yes, his real name is Bumper Pool, the linebacker, 120 tackles there. Uh, 73rd in pass offense, 12th in rush offense, 43rd in pass defense, 45th in scoring offense, uh, 29th in total offense. These teams are kind of pretty much even, but I'm going to go with Arkansas. Uh, both quarterbacks, du you know, dual threat quarterbacks. Um, I'm going to say the running back for <coughs> um, Arkansas. Should be able to get it, help get it done a little bit more. But this will be an interesting. This will be a really close game. Penn State's favorite by two. I'm actually going to go with Arkansas there to win that game. Are right, the Fiesta Bowl, Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Oklahoma State 11 and 2. Spencer Sanders, 2004 68, 16 touchdown, but threw 12 interceptions. Ran for 543 and 6 touchdowns. Jalen Warren was a great transfer from Utah State, running for 1,134, 11 touchdowns. Tay Martin, he was actually a transfer from Washington State, 70 catches, 942, 7 touchdowns. Uh, Malcolm Rodriguez had 118 tackles. Colin Oliver, 11 and a half sacks. Uh, the number three total defense in the country, fifth in scoring defense, four to second in scoring offense. They really won with defense this year. Normally, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State is one of the best offenses in the country. This year, kind of mediocre. Spencer Sanders turns it over way too much, but they have one of the best defenses in the country. Notre Dame, 11 and 1. Jack Cohn, 2006 41, 20 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Kyron Williams ran for 1,002 yards, 14 touchdowns there. Isaiah Foskey, 10 sacks. You have the number 30 total defense, 11 in the scoring defense, 56 in scoring offense, 20 total offense, 21st in scoring offense, 33rd in pass offense. I'm going to go with Notre Dame actually to win this game here, mainly because uh, the Notre Dame offense is, is good, their defense is good, the problem is Spencer Sanders, the quarterback for Oklahoma State, he makes way too many mistakes, he's been basically a three-year starter and has been, I can't imagine being a Cowboys fan with him there, he's so frustrating, uh, too many picks, too many fumbles, gets sacked too many times, just boneheaded mistakes that he shouldn't be making you know, this late in his career. So that's why I'm going to go with Notre Dame. He's there. I think they may force some some interceptions and turnovers and be able to get some short fields and score on that. So I'm going to go with Notre Dame to win that game. All right, the Citrus Bowl. This is going to be a pretty low-scoring game. Iowa and Kentucky, the over-under is 44, so they think it's going to be low. Iowa, 10-3, Spencer Peaches. They have a terrible quarterback situation at Iowa. 1,669, 9 times 6 picks. Him, <coughs> um... And their their other quarterback, they've kind of gone back and forth, mainly because they both suck. Uh, Tyler Goodson, though, really good running back. Ran for 1,151, six touchdowns. Jack Campbell, 126 tackles there. Uh, th this is what I'm talking about. Ninth in scoring defense, 14th total defense, 123rd in total offense, 81st in scoring offense for Iowa. <coughs> Kentucky, 9-3. <coughs> 32nd scoring defense, 26th in total defense, 47th in total offense, 32nd in scoring offense. Will Levis had a good year, 2005, 93, 23 touchdowns to 12 picks, 387 rushing yards, 9 rushing touchdowns there. Chris Rodriguez ran for 1,272, 8 touchdowns. Wanda Robinson was a great transfer from Nebraska, 94 catches, 1,164 and 7 touchdowns there. I'm going to go with Kentucky here. Iowa is one of the best in the nation at forcing turnovers. So if they want to win, they're going to have to force some turnovers here. But their offense is way too terrible to, to keep up uh, to be able to score. Kentucky's defense is good. Their offense is good enough. Now, Iowa's defense is great. But Kentucky, I think, should score just enough. It'll be a pretty low-scoring game. Like like uh, like I said, I mean, Kentucky might win like 21-10. Uh, 
13, something like that. But I, I'm going to go with Kentucky to win the Citrus Bowl. <clears throat> and then you got the Rose Bowl, the Utah Utes and Ohio State <clears throat> Buckeyes. Utah 10 and 3, <clears throat> 21 in scoring offense, 39 in total offense, 29th in scoring defense, 19th in total defense. And they're Cam Rising, good year, 2002, 79, 18 touchdowns, 5 picks. Tavian Thomas ran for 1,041 yards, 20 rushing touchdowns. Um, Devin Lloyd, one of the top linebackers in the country, should be a first round pick. 107 tackles, 6 pass breakups, 4 interceptions. Mike Tafua, 9.5 sacks there. Uh, Ohio State. CJ Stroud, great year. Heisman finalist, should, might win it next year. 10-2. CJ Stroud passed for 3,862, 38 touchdowns of five picks. Travion Henderson, a freshman, ran for 1,172, 15 touchdowns. They might have three 1,000-yard receivers at the end of this game. Jackson Smith and Jigba, 80 catches, 1,259, six touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, 70 catches, 1,058 yards and 12 touchdowns. And Chris Olave is the one odd man out. He's got 65 catches, 936, and 13 touchdowns. So he only needs uh, 64 receiving yards, which he, he can get in this game. Uh, fifth, number one scoring offense, number one total offense, 25th in scoring defense in the country. Utah North does have a really good defense, but I think Ohio State has way too good of an offense. I think Ohio State uh, wins this game. They're favored by six and a half. Um, this may be kind of a high scoring game, but I'm going to go with Ohio State to win in the end. Alright, the Sugar Bowl, the final game of New Year's Day. Sugar Bowl, the Baylor Bears going 11-2 against Ole Miss Rebels going 10-2. Baylor Bears, uh, Jerry Bohannon, he played most of the season, passed for 2,160, 17 touchdowns and 6 picks, plus ran for 3 or 3, 9 touchdowns. He was hurt, Blake Shapman came in, did a nice job, passed for 596, 5 touchdowns, no interceptions. Um... We'll see who, who plays in this one. Abram Smith, great year rushing, 1,429, 12 rushing touchdowns. Tyquan Thornton, Thornton, 61 catches, 946, 9 touchdowns. Terrell Bernard, 86 uh, tackles. You got the number 30 scoring offense, 17th in scoring defense, 16th in rushing offense, 71st in pass defense. So facing an Ole Miss team that is 21st in passing offense, but 102nd in rush defense. Matt Coral, 3, 3,339 yards, 20 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, ran for 597 and 11 touchdowns. Terry um, Drummond, 67 catches, 924, 8 touchdowns. Chase Campbell, 99 sacks, and Sam Williams with 12, or 99 tackles. Sam Williams with 12, 12 and a half sacks. This will be an interesting game. Baylor has a pretty decent offense, but a good defense. Ole Miss has one of the best offenses in the country, but not a very good defense. That being said, I'm actually going to go with Ole Miss and their offense here. I think they're going to be able to score a little bit too much on Baylor. I'm not sure Baylor has... I mean, they've seen some of the hurry-up offense and did decent against it, but Ole Miss is kind of another level with it. I'm going to go with Ole Miss though, winning a close game. So those are my picks for New Year's Day. Check out all my other bowl breakdowns. Peace.